Nicole. Welcome, my genies. We're back with some for not so very challenged Rose generation. And Rose's birthday is a day ahead. So, Clem thought it was a good idea to go ahead and age her up. And Clem and Frost are going to be elders. Clem is not happy about it. No, I want to be vampire spy Clem. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but no. You're mean. How? Stu! She won't let me age up. I mean, age down with a vampire status. You'll be a vampire too, Stu. I want an adult, I think. And? We can be vampires now. No, we're not doing vampires. The way I could live with all my great, great, great grandchildren. No, Clem. And, 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 and take care of the house and all that stuff. <laughs> No, Clem. We don't have a cake anyway. I'm going to clean up the dishes, Clem. I'm too old, I can't get around. <clears throat> You're not old yet. I mean, in the elder yet. Are you upset, Clem? I have weeks before I'm supposed to be old. So there. <clears throat> Oops, broke a dish. Oh well. See, I've already got old age up. I got something going on. My arm went out. There you go. Hope you're happy. What do you mean? If I'd still be an adult, I wouldn't have dropped the plate. Now I'm scared. I'm going to be old and die. So there, I dropped plates. There. Hope you're happy. Rose really liked that plate, and so did Frost. <clears throat> Are you that upset? I'm not supposed to age up for weeks from now, so you shouldn't even be doing it. You could do Rose if your heart birthday's close. If you're going to complain that much, fine. I'll just do Rose. You can do, the, you can do Frost, too, if you want. I don't care. No. I'll be with an old woman. And you'll do it three days after her. What? You have to do it three days after her. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I got weeks to wait. She can be an old woman, I'll, I'll just be her gigolo. What do you think? Stu, do you agree? <laughs> See, Stu agrees. Stu agrees with everything you say. I don't know, Stuart, do you think I should go and age up Clem too? Nah. Let him be young for as long as he can. Hey, well, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Fine, I'll wait. I'm going to eat up Rose because it's the day before anyway. Nicole's upset now. No, I'll accept it. And I'm saving the cake. Thank God it's not in the sink. Now Rose is an adult. And Edgar's already an adult anyway. So she has to go on three gold dates. Edgar's probably going to die before she ever gets to marry him. I hope not. Don't say that. What in the... What? Dawn Ponytail Man! What? Wait, I thought Don Lothario was married to somebody else. What was his last name before? Clem? <laughs> um, Don Lothario married redheaded ponytail man. What? What did the Caliente say? Dead? I don't know, but now he's Don Ponytail Man. Oh my god. I think he's- No, his, his last name now is Ponytail Man. He was married to somebody else before. I guess I got divorced. I think his other husband died. Oh, well. I didn't know Don was married to Redheaded Ponytail Man. Oh, well. <clears throat> Hi, Don Ponytail Man. It's just the last name. Congratulations, Don and Redhead Ponytail Man. Nothing. What's oh? Don. I could have been a contender. Let's see. Where do we want to go?
Let's go to the fancy restaurant. <laughs> What's fancy about it? I don't know. It's fancy. Does it say it's a fancy restaurant? Wait. Is there a gold thing set up for the date thingy? I don't know. I, I hope so, because it's not going to count. Face for C. I mean, it's a holiday, I think, but I don't know. Only one way to find out. Who's oh, Captain? Okay, good. Oh, it's Chef. Edmund. I cannot pronounce the last name. Uh, oh, it's one of the people. Ro mm. It's one of the people Rose is with. Chef? Mm hmm. Yeah, let's request a table. Okay, so it does count for a gold star date today. Good. And they're dressed informal. Seriously, Rose needs to break up with all these people. Yeah, I would. But how we, This is action. Okay, he's glitched. Debug him. I did. <clears throat> Hello, Edgar. Hello. Are you excited for your date? I am. You haven't seen Rose in, We haven't seen you in a while, actually. That's just my streaking phase. I walked to the steps, isn't that cool? You like Rose's dress? She looks lovely as always. Okay, um... Rose wants... The soft shadow, I cannot pronounce that. What would you like, Edgar? Same thing, or no? Uh, I want the Cupid. You want the Cupid juice? Uh-huh. I almost have the Cupid juice for both of you, then. <clears throat> it has an umbrella. That'd be fancy. <clears throat> Alright, main course, what would you like? Let's see. I want... Rack of lamb. Here it is. Seventy-four. I'm sorry, one hundred fourteen dollars. And it's an expensive lamb. A loaf. Uh, not until you're an old. <clears throat> frost really? Not frost. I mean Rose. My gosh, Rose really wants to a loaf with oh. Edgar. It seems like. They didn't engage for a long time. Have they? Yeah, for I don't know how many episodes now. Ooh. Who do you have a bad relationship with? A oh, Ricardo? What happened to you and Ricardo? There's Ted! Hi, Ted! How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm having a business lunch. Toothpaste Colgate is the waiter is the waiter here. Baker singing. Drova, 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 Sikaniva. Edgar's feeling flirty. Alright, let's see if maybe we can break up with the chef. If it's possible. Oh, we can't. Darn it. What's wrong with you, Ted? Selena's trying to calm you down. What happened? I almost got burned. By? The food. The skin got my mustache. I thought my eyebrows were gone. I didn't know you had your food already. There's something down there on the table. There's a candle. Maybe that's what caught on fire then. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, Rose is very flirty. Lots of chops. Ask Edgar Allen to pursue his dream job. What is Edgar's dream job? I'm a rider. <laughs> what the heck? Bubbles? That's from the Cupid Juice. That's cool. Interesting idea, Rose. I've been pondering what would give the most satisfaction in my work life. I'll let you know when I, when I decide soon. It was a gold, gold going? metal date. <coughs> Might you be eat there? Terry and what? Carrie and Poppy are A students. Dang, it was fast. Yeah, really, it was. Says they were Poppy. Yeah, she hasn't been a teen that long. Wait, who's woohooing? I heard woohoo noises. But the bush. Aha! I'm scared about his woohooing. Yeah, see who it is. Has... Oh, they're woohooing in the bush. Where's she going? Where are we supposed to eat together? I think it's because of the order for table thing. Are you enjoying your meal? I wish you'd stay seated. I but she's not going to. Hang on, let me reset. Oh. Our food's gone. Oh, there it is. It might be because of the order for table thing. Unless she has to pick up her food. There we go. Yeah, I thought he had it already ordered for a table. I know, it's a glitch, I think. Whoa, Blurbo! <laughs> what beast of a here, Nabo! A ween day. Sabine. Fremno? Kalidna. Rack. What? Ah! Are you having a wonderful date now? <laughs> yeah. Rina. Sitting with. <laughs> oh, it's a work person. <laughs> a work person. A person I work with. Oh, okay. I say you cheating on your wife, are you stupid? No, not a problem. I'm also watching Grace and Edgar. Oh, I see. Grace and Edgar. Sure, neat very much. Yumba. I guess she got full, and I guess he got full. Yes. 
Swinja Yao Jinjur Sensei what are you doing, Steve? How do you know? How do you know? I saw the world suggestion. I see. I asked you want to go home. It was a legendary date. She has two. Earn gold on three dates. Oh, it counted now. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh no. Bush is dancing. Hello. Damn you, Stu. I go sit with Stu. Made that lady leave. Hey, Stu, where are you going? I'm here, Damn it, Stu, I came here to see you. Sorry, bro. I swear. Another date here. What would you like for dessert, Edgar? I want. Let's see here. What is that? Which one? I'm looking. What's the things up there with this? You get the cannoli? Yeah. <clears throat> I like cannoli. What would you like to drink with your cannoli? Coffee. Now a cappuccino. That's good. And a macchiato. Either one's fine. I don't have regular coffee for you. I already have a date. I already have a table, so we're just gonna. All right, Clem. What would you like to order? Whiskey. Uh, they don't have it here. Damn it. What do they have? A salty llama. That's Dorky's favorite. Ugh. Give me the sour punch. And what would you like to eat? Hmm. <clears throat> I want <clears throat> steak. Do you have all three days today? I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. Why not? Uh -huh. Just go ahead and do it and get it over with. How do you feel about Stu leaving Clem? I'm mad at Stu. 
Inja. You could have waited Esla. for me, you know. <laughs> I told you I was coming, Stu. I'm coloring on the mat, Stu. I was going to make you a picture, Stu. You could hang it in your refrigerator, but you left. You missed out, Stu. Stu! You missed out. Now I just have to get home with me. Wait a soup. Sarf Samzo, quink, quink, Ava, ha 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 no, it's sitting there. I need to eat it. Oh, it's still my daughter's food. This is kind of rude, isn't it? No, you're cleaning oh, it up. Uh, it's not my job, is it? Well, they weren't going to do it, apparently. Look, gold medal day already. <laughs> I don't work here. What the hell? They're not going to do it, Clem. My damn food's getting cold. I can eat my food. Wombo boy, Sakwinario. Miss Stevie Flina. Shosh. Gabane Lovo Bonnetti. Are you also there to watch Clem? Of course I am. I always take care of my kids. And my granddaughter. Does Rose know you're here? I don't think she knows. She's too busy flirt, but you know who. <clears throat> Slacker Slaughter's here. How'd they get food already? They just sit down. I don't know. Oh, Rose noticed Clem. I guess because Clem does not to be quiet. Right, Clem? I do not. We need Edgar. What? Oh, I'm fine with Clem being here. I like him. I want dessert, please. She threw all the plates in front of Edgar. <clears throat> Alright, what would you like for dessert? Let's see here. I want... Uh... Ooh, ooh, that sounds nasty. Ooh, I want lava bunt cake. Ooh, that sounds good. What would you like to drink with it? Um, cappuccino, I guess. Just to get that part done. We need Edgar three dates. I'll be here all day with her. I don't care. I 
they're hungry anyway, so why not bring them along? like to order the, I don't know what, you know, maybe an appetizer, another Can dessert, one or two, Edgar? Um, give me the... Ooh, savory bacon love petals? Ooh, that sounds good. What would you like to drink? More punch. And like I said, we already have that. Jump, jump. Vatanabe, Sinaka Dunba. Snibaro Watanini. Fino Cho. Karenzi. Look, Clem, look who's here. Hey guys, what's going on? What? I came over to check on Rose. Don't look at me like that, Frost. Damn. Alright, Clem, looks like you have your dessert. Me something vegetarian. Volcano pasta that sounds interesting. Still here, sorry. Happen. 
Why are they eating? Um, Frost is being jealous of Clem. Talking to Rose? That's weird. Where'd Edgar go? Edgar! What? Oh, Edgar's on the toilet. Well, he ate too much food. He's pooping. Ross is not like what he has. Why? Every time Clem talks to Rose, Frost freaks out. Oh, her jealous trait. And she's yelling at Clem for it. What the hell did I do? I'm fucking my own daughter. Oh, yeah. How you feel about this, Clem? It's ridiculous. I'm tired of this shit. Why would your own wife be jealous of you talking to your own daughter? Uh, it shouldn't be. Emily Clem, are you ready to go home? I am. They can stay here. I'm leaving. Yeah, come here. I want my check. And Rose completed her aspiration. Good job. Maybe she's left Edgar there. No, she didn't. <clears throat> that was 152 for their meal, 84 for yours, and theirs is 290. It's a lot of money, ain't it? Did you have a wonderful time, Edgar? I did, thank you, for the whole day date with my beautiful, lovely fiance. And you're furious at Frost, aren't you, Clem? I am. Now they're coming home, aren't they? Yep. God damn it. Alright, so they're going to go ahead and head to bed now. It's really late. Clem, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Are you sure? There's another bed I can sleep in. Not really. I'll sleep on the couch. You'd rather sleep on the couch? Yeah. I'm mad. You want to talk to your wife later? That's right. Calm down, maybe. Excuse me. <clears throat> She's still mad. And um, yeah. Stupid crap. I'm exhausted. All right, they're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure the notification bell to get notified of my upload. Chelsea. I love you all so much. Bye. Bye, everybody. Roar! <gasps> Bye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. It's Ed and the Ed Alliance. I was on the one here. This is Kevin Arnold. Thanks for telling me, Fred. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's Edgar. I had a great day.